What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at the scrolled text widget for TTK Bootstrap and Kinter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the scrolled text widget. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkenter.com forward slash widget dash book. Enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkenter.com. You can get all my Kenter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. All right, this is gonna be a very short video, but a very cool video. And that's because we're gonna look at the scrolled text widget. And that is just what it sounds like, a text widget that is built in with a scroll bar. Look at that, woohoo! Right, so in the past we had to create an actual scroll bar widget and add it to a text box or add it to a frame or add it to whatever. In TTK Bootstrap, there's actually a widget built into it that has a scroll bar right there and you could do a couple cool things with it. You could hide it, you could show it, uh, you could have it, when you hover your mouse over it appears or, or doesn't appear. Very cool and very easy to use. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Batch Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Now, I don't know, 10 videos ago or so, check the playlist. I'll put a link up here. I did a video on scroll bars with TTK Bootstrap and you can use scroll bars in the normal way that you would with Kinter. Or you can, if you're using a text widget, you can just use this little trick I'm about to show you right now. So I've got a file, I'm calling it scroll underscore text.py. And we've got our basic TTK bootstrap starter code that we always have. I've imported TTK bootstrap as TB. We're using the superhero theme and everything else is pretty much rudimentary. So to use this, we actually have to import it first. So let's go from TTK bootstrap dot scrolled. We want to import scrolled text. Now you'll notice the S and the T and scrolled text are both capitalized. Everything here is lowercase. So that's all we have to do. We just have to import it. Now I know we imported pretty much everything here in TTK Bootstrap as TB, but we still have to, for some reason, import this guy as well. So let's come down here and let's create a text box. So text widget. And I'm going to call this my underscore text. And now normally this would be a TB dot, you know, text widget but not this time. This time we're calling just straight up scrolled text. And that's because we imported that right there, right? So we want to put this in root and now we can give this a height of let's say 20 and a width of like, I don't know, 110. And let's also give this a wrap of word. This is basic text widget stuff. We want our words to wrap completely. We don't want to get to the end of the line in the text box and have a word get cut off mid word and have half the word on one line and the other half of the word on the other line below it, we wanna wrap the entire word down to the line below. So there we go. So really that's all we need. So let's go my underscore text dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y like, I don't know, 15 or so, push down the screen a little bit. So let's head back over to our terminal and run this guy. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run Python scroll underscore text dot pi. And we have a typo because we, of course, an equal to sign there. Okay, so put an equal to sign, come back, clear the screen, run this guy again. All right, and there we go, boom. You'll notice it doesn't appear now, but if we start to type and you know we gotta get to the end and keep going, you can see over there on the right, it's adding the little scroll bar thing and we can scroll up and down and it is fantastic. And that's all there is to it. So there's one thing I wanna show you about this. In addition, we can also give this an auto hide of true. Now by default, auto hide is set to false. As we just saw when we ran it, the scroll bar was there even though we didn't even need it until we started typing text and then it kind of, you know, popped up or whatever. If we set auto hide to true, head back over here, run this guy, you'll notice there is no scroll bar at all until I hover over and then it kind of appears. Same deal if we start to type a bunch of stuff you'll notice the scroll bar isn't automatically showing up. It's been hidden. It's auto hide. It auto hide it. It's auto auto hide it. And, but if we move our mouse over, boom, then it pops up and we can use it. Now, some people might like that. Some people might not. Personally, I, I don't know. I don't really care for that. It seems a little confusing. 
uh, I want the scroll bar to just always be there. So what I would do is leave that off or you could set this to auto hide equals false. Save this, head back over here, run this guy again. And we're gonna get just the default thing where the scroll bar is just already there always. And as you kind of move down, the little scrolly thing appears. And uh, very cool. So what else can we do to this? Well, we can use all of our boot styles if we want. Boot style. And you've got all of the boot styles that we've been talking about throughout this series, primary, secondary, info, success, danger, light, dark, any other ones that I might've missed. And you probably wanna spell boot style, right? <laughs> And this won't change the text box itself, but it will change the scroll bar color. So if we head back over here and run this guy again, now our scroll bar is red because that's the danger color, right? Very cool. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And very neat. Now, if we head over to the TTK Bootstrap documentation at ttkbootstrap.readthedocs.io and then click on API. And let's see here, if we scroll down here, you can see there's a scrolled frame and a scrolled text. If you click on scrolled text, uh, you can see some code and some things here. If you wanna read more about this, you can see you can add boot style. You can also add padding. You'll notice you can designate vertical or horizontal bars. So you can have a V bar or an H bar. The V bar is default. We've just been looking at that. But if you wanted to add an H bar for a horizontal one, you could do that. Let's head back over here and let's go H bar equals true. And this just takes true or false, it's a Boolean. So if we come back over here, run this guy again, see now we've got horizontal and vertical. And if we scroll all the way over, let's see, now this one sort of appears and works and very cool. So that's the scrolled text widget, so much easier than creating a scroll bar and physically adding it to your text widget or to a frame or whatever. Very awesome, very easy to use, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes all spelled out. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.